What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have an important video about Dopamine Jailbreak. A brand new important release is out and this one is actually quite a big release because it fixes an important security issue and I'm not even clickbaiting you. This is such a major issue that older versions of Dopamine have been pulled because of how big of an issue this is and it has to be addressed. So definitely go ahead and update right now. It's very important. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to repair your broken iOS system. If it's no longer booting, stuck in recovery mode, in DFU mode, boot loop and stuff like that. Definitely check their program out below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS and iOS 17 is supported as well. So Dopamine 2.0.9 is out. It was released a couple of days ago. However, Dopamine 2.0.9, according to OPA334, fixes a bad security issue that was discovered and it was addressed in this version. So all previous 2.x versions were pulled and are no longer recommended to be used by anyone. So this is actually quite a big security issue if they had to pull all 2.x versions and they don't recommend you use them anymore. And sure enough, if you go here on the official website, by the way, Dopamine supports iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1 on some devices. It supports up to 16.5 and 16.5.1 on newer devices. The 16.6 and 16.6.1 support is for ARM64, so older devices. However, if you go ahead here, you can see that the 2.0.9 version is now here. And if you check out all the other versions, the older ones, you can no longer find the IPA files. They were pulled because of this security issue. And they say here fix a super bad security issue where App Store apps would be allowed to obtain full system capabilities, root and physical read and write, that were otherwise only intended to be accessible by root processes. As a result, Dopamine 2.0 all the way up to 2.0.8 have been pulled and are no longer recommended to be used by anyone, which is pretty major. I would definitely go ahead and update right now to the latest dopamine version because this is a pretty massive security issue. Other than that, this version does have other fixes as well. It fixes an issue where the ARM64 related fixes in 2.0.7 and 2.0.8 were only working when LKit was installed and tweak injection was enabled. Fixes support properly for iOS 15 betas and other important fixes as well. You can consult the uh, full change log over here on GitHub. I'm going to link it below, but definitely go ahead, update right now. Dopamine 2.0.9 do not use anything older than this. So thank you for watching. I'm GS Snow. Till the next time, peace out.